Hello, beautiful, amazing, fantastic world. And you, wonderful, wonderful individual you. Today, I would like to speak about the continuous you. The continuous you, or the continuous work you do every day based on what you have dedicated yourself to through choice is what will grow and become continuous over time. A little difficult to explain it, but if you develop spiritual understanding and coming into certain streams, coming, uh, being allowed into certain beings, more or less. You go to sleep in the evening and you come and wake up in the morning and continue where you left off, in a sense. You, you, it's like you come back and right back into that stream when you wake up. It's like you... It is that continuous stream. It is uh, sleep won't disrupt the spiritual work because you are so entwined in this spiritual work and in the beings that are helping you, that are inspiring you to go on and meditate and go deep with deep inwards and find out who we are as individual, as human beings and what we can do to become, well, even more well, more well versed in our own inner well vessel for it is our vessel and it's our responsibility to master our own vessel even if it takes a lifetime for as i mentioned that continuous you will not disappear after the gate of death either we are continuous constantly but it is based on do we believe we disappear or do we know that we will continue after we pass? That is all the difference. That is if you that you do you pass through that gate in the uh, in the day or in the night, in the sun or in the moon. It is based on what you what your state of being were before you pass. And it is important to have that faith to know that you will go on and. When you know that, you will do actions that comes thereafter from the core. You know that no action, no thoughts, no feelings is truly wasted. And to really come into that sense of responsibility for us, so that we can hold clear our inner being, so that it is as calm as possible, so we can observe and absorb and listen and learn from whatever the universe and the hierarchy and God has to show us every day. For he does show us every day. It was mentioned in earlier that there no signs will be given to those that are faithless. No signs will be given to the skeptics, obviously. That they will be shown in their own way when the time is ready. When, you know, it is all about developing and preparing and enlightening oneself enough so that one can actually come to an understanding. For it is not only we that accumulate knowledge and grow and develop, we also develop the connection to the higher worlds, to the hierarchy, to Michael, to Gabriel, Raphael, all of them. But one needs to be patient and steady and sturdy for if we take any shortcuts or if we are in a hurry or if we try to force our way we will go beyond what our capabilities can handle it is something we we cooperate with the higher worlds when we spiritually and esoterically evolve and develop as human beings so we need to know that we are not only alone in this, we also have our higher siblings that are assisting in this. And the Christ, which is always with us. But through the Christ, we can connect through the to the hierarchy. So, holding to the love and the compassion 
when we do go inwards, having a certain gentleness and patience with ourselves. For when we do clear and ennoble ourselves and spiritualize, it takes lifetimes. So lifetimes of patience is also necessary. It is a certain sacrifice you make to forego certain choices that otherwise would get in the way of the development. And you will, if you follow this path, you will come to understand what these things are. I am convinced that most people that follow this path will come to more or less the same consensus in these things. For it is about what the higher world and reality and truth tells us and not these arbitrary rules based on willy-nilly groups and such. It is all about the real truth. There, uh, the, if we are to have any rules or laws, we better have the law speak directly to us instead. That is the thing. And to stick and hold to a certain openness, but also a certain strictness and discipline and prudence. As you say, there are seven virtues Justice, judgment, oh, sorry, <clears throat> courage, fortitude, uh, uh, fortitude or courage. Courage and fortitude is kind of the same. You need to have, you need to be, you need to have fortitude to move on, to have courage, to go forward. And prudence, carefulness, always being careful not to, you know, it's just about observation and listening. Listening with your whole, observing and listening with your whole being, not only with your eyes and your ears, but with your whole. For when you take in from these senses and down into your whole body, you can sense, well, a lot more. And there are secrets there also. And it is all about how willing are you to come to an understanding of these things. So I am here to inspire your curiosity and wonder in these matters. I'm not here to fill in all the, all, all the unknowns, as I say. I'm here to have you go and find out for yourself. For, well, it is our individual choice and interest and will and drive to go well, pursue whatever we are meant to pursue as individuals. And we have to connect to the hierarchy and listen to them and their promptings a little bit. For they will only suggest, they will only give you pinpointers. They will only prompt you a certain direction. They will never force you. But if they don't like something we do, they might throw our life upside down in a sense. That has it, it is so that we are we have no choice but to change directions because we can either choose to see that upside down uh, change as a hindrance and as a defeat and just lay there or we can take that as okay I get it I get it I will change direction so it is will you listen to them are you open to their through their heart and through your heart for they do often speak in clairvoyant symbols today and clairvoyant abilities come not only from our head and our third eye. It really is infused with love from the heart, etherized blood from the heart up to, up to our whole, <laughs> through our whole being, but up to the head too. For we need to warm up our thoughts if we truly are to see the world with aliveness. Through our emotions, through our heart, through, well, not only our heart alone. For as I mentioned, if we try to come from our heart without using our head to enlighten what we feel with our heart, we will be confused. Because there are so many feelings that kind of intertwine with each other in a sense, but with your head you can separate them and observe them and see them for what they are through practice, of course, through meditation and silence. Then you can really get to know what is playing through your being every day. And that is what I mean with the continuous you. 
and you continue to be you, and you continue to grow as a human being, as an individual, as part of the whole humanity still. For the more individual you become, the more strength you are given inwards to be able to be a good example and a healing in this world so others can follow if they choose to. For change and development comes in a steady, active progress. It is not, it is not leaps and bounds always. It does occur now and then, but not always. Sometimes the hap it, it happens over stretches and periods of time because sometimes we need to take our time to absorb so it can stick. If it just happened, boom, then we might not be able to truly have it a, re a real practical living and value of life. So it is about having chosen something and dedicate ourselves to it over time until it sticks instead of kind of being forced through a sudden change. For with a sudden change, you didn't really have a choice in the end, right? But with you having dedicated your time to something is something different for you have done so in freedom and hence they are here with you assisting you always and they are the most amazing warm compassionate moral beautiful beings for they are of the hierarchy think michael he is the leader of the sun you know the out there of course the christ is otherwise the leader of the sun but he is down here on earth so michael is kind of his countenance now he was the countenance of god now he is the countenance of christ so may you be protected guided blessed and loved by father holy spirit christ michael ancient masters of old ancestors from every incarnation and may you be provided for with all that you need to survive, live, thrive, and be creative and inspirational so others can choose to be the same, so we can start healing this world with dedication, interest, and love for each other and for, well, our home, the future. So, thank you, bless you, goodbye.